Hey guys. Good morning. Um, I figure with it being Labor Day weekend and whatnot, it would be a good weekend to throw in an extra um, live video. Let me see if I can get my video pulled up here. One second, everybody. There we go. So I can see any comments. Okay, cool. All right. I had an idea that I wanted to try out with the resin. Hi, Heidi. Hey, Misty. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jimmy James. Um, so I have a much bigger canvas that I want to do this on, but I wanted to try it on a little bit of a smaller canvas first. So, hey, Charming Giraffe. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Susu. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? So I'm going to get my resin all mixed up, and I'm using the uh, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. And as soon as I get into mixing the colors, I'll get into all the colors that I'm using. Right now I'm just mixing the clear resin. Hi from Alaska, hi from Denmark, hi from the UK. Oh hey, El Spicy. <laughs> yes, this is live. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. <laughs> hey Catherine. Yeah, you know. Yesterday was a long and boring day where I didn't get to paint at all. So today is going to be a full day of painting. <laughs> Canada, New Zealand, oh, oh wow. Orlando, Florida. What's the weather like in Florida right now? Cause I might be there in like a couple weeks. What's, is it like stupid hot there? <laughs> Texas, Minnesota. Bonjour, New York City. <laughs> You're a frog from France. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be using the uh, Stone Coat Countertops White Base Tint. Hot and humid. Yep, that's pretty much what I predicted. That is Florida. Okay, so I'm using that White Base Tint here. And then I've got the Ocean Blue Metallic Mica Powder from Stone Coat Countertops. I've got Pearl Metallic. I've got Gold Metallic. And then I went a little risky here and did some of the Clay Metallic mixed with my Color Cottage Blushing Pink. This is a really bright pink. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit. So I put a little bit of this clay color in there. We'll see how that comes out. I can always add more or less of one or the other as I'm going, so. <laughs> not morning for you. Yeah, for most people it's not morning. I know that. Only on the west coast is it still morning. Hi from Saudi Arabia. Wow. Welcome, welcome. There you go. See, Sherry. Hi from California. It's morning for you. <laughs> All right, let's get these poured in here. And I personally, just in case anyone's ever wondering why I put the mica powder in first, um, it's because I, so I can control it a little better. I've totally had it before where I put the uh, resin in first and then I added the mica powder and it was too much mica powder. So then I had to add more resin. If you put too much mica powder in the first place, you can just take some out. Anyways. There is a method behind my madness, just saying. Hi from Belgium. <laughs> well, there you go, 6 a.m. for you, so it's morning. All right. Okay, let's get these all mixed up. Good, e good evening from Denmark. Where in Florida are you going? Um, honestly, probably around like the Clearwater area. Uh, I, I haven't really been to Florida much, but um, maybe, yeah, I don't really know. I'm just going to visit some friends that live in Clearwater. I don't really know 
what that is particularly near. So, hello from Belgium. All right, and the mica powders, I do like to mix them a little bit extra too because it's a powder. So, if you don't mix it very thoroughly, you can get little chunks of the dry powder left. It's near Tampa. Oh, there you go. Cool. So I'll be going to Tampa Beach, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with Florida. No offense to anyone that lives there, but I avoid it like the Black Plague because the one time I went there, it was miserable. <laughs> the weather, I just couldn't take it. It was, yeah. Physically, I literally couldn't, couldn't take it. Do you prefer the powders or acrylic with your resin? Um, that's a good question. I guess it depends on what you're doing. What I love about the mica powders is the metallic aspect and the fact that you can get these like really, really bright, crazy colors. Um, but obviously with acrylic, you can do any colors and the acrylic does mix in better. So I guess it kind of depends on what you're doing, you know? I mean, look, let's let's look at this. This is the blue, that ocean blue. See how you get all the different tones? Like you'll get depths in just one color with the mica powders. You'll get darks and lights. It's really crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, they do look so pretty when you're mixing them. But I hope you can see that depth as well on the camera. This is the gold. Um, the Stone Coat Countertops has the favorite gold that I've tried so far. I've tried other golds, and this one's definitely my favorite. Visit Dolphin with the Amputated Tail, because I am an amputee too. All right. If I happen to be there in the winter, I shall. <laughs> I'd rather be in snow right now. Yeah, I agree. All right, this is the... Um, the color that I made, ooh, look at that. That's like a gorgeous deep pink. That is exactly what I wanted. So that is so pretty. Can you guys see that? And get up a little closer. See, I didn't want red. I wanted pink for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. But I wanted pink, but I just wanted to, I didn't want it to be quite so bright. Uh, the mica powder is just to color the resin. That's all. And there's a bunch of different things you can use. Um, like you can use paints, inks, mica powders, all kinds of things. If two resin colors mix, will they go muddy? As sometimes happens with acrylics. Uh, yeah, totally. They totally can. <laughs> all right. Can you guys hear that? It's nice and springy. So we know that it's good, it's not sagging. Okay. All right, give these one more mix for good measure. And basically I'm gonna be doing like a double puddle pour. And if this comes out the way that I like it, I will be adding some gold leaf to it, okay? Not in this video, probably, because I think I will want it to dry, then add the gold leaf, then add a clear coat over it, because otherwise, if I try to add gold leaf now when the whole thing's wet, it'll just make a big mess. <laughs> so. Hey, Rebecca. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to do something real quick that I meant to do a while ago. There you go, Rebecca. Good morning. All right, so. Like I said, I'm gonna do kind of a double puddle pour, but you know what, I think I'm actually gonna cover a lot of this with the white first. So we have kind of a base. Well, ADT, ADT, I don't know how to say your name, but the title of this video is Sunday Morning Relaxing Painting. 
So we're not in a big hurry. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. If you are impatient, maybe go and come back in 10 minutes when more exciting things will be happening. There we go. We got a nice white base coat there. Okay. So I'm going to start with white and I'm going to, like I said, double puddle pour. So I'm going to do one over here, one over here. And this is the pearl. So you'll be able to see the difference there against the white. <laughs> you can wait. It's just, just relaxing to watch. Yeah, I know. I am. Trust me, I get impatient too. All right, here's the gold. Okay, and here is this gorgeous pink. Too bad Tina's not here. She loves pink. Yeah, guys, don't forget to thumbs up, by the way. Oh my gosh, I love that pink. All right, I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick because I am dripping that white everywhere. <laughs> Is there any particular reason you use gloves? Um, yeah, with resin specifically because it is so darn sticky and it is like really hard to wash off your hands without pretty harsh chemicals. So with acrylic paint, I don't really worry about it, but with resin, it's a must for me. Not, that, not to say that I never get in there without them. I totally do. <laughs> but... I prefer not to because it's very sticky. Yes, uh, these are all mica powders that I'm pouring in here. <laughs> you are resin addicted. Me too. Okay. So far, so good. All right, I'm going to take a heat gun to this first. And then I'm going to spread it out a bit. There we go. Ow. Can you tell which way my table is slanted? All right, so I do have a specific directionality in mind here with this. Um, and I'm actually gonna add a little more of this <laughs> pink. I did not, okay, yeah, I did say that I love this pink. I did say that. And you know what? I will tell you a secret in just a second. I was talking to my friend yesterday and she and I was like, I don't like pink. And she goes, you're wearing pink. This is my shirt. It's from Aruba and it's totally pink. But once again, it's like a deep pink, like a reddish pink. Anyways, there's my secret. All right, here we go. I'm going to throw a little pearl in between here. Just to kind of get it mixed in. And I do have a I do have a plan, guys. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we're getting there. I have a very exact picture in my head. So I'm kind of just trying to create that picture. <laughs> Yep, I said it. All right, I'm gonna heat the, heat the resin a bit more.
<laughs> a very exact picture for an abstract painting. Yes, that is correct. Abstract, maybe abstract, but that doesn't mean I don't have a plan. Ooh, okay, good. My plan is actually finally coming to fruition. Here. Go a little bit this way. I thought about doing this as a swipe, um, but decided against it. So here's what, let's see. I am gonna actually throw the rest of this pink into here. I'm very happy that I added that pearl. So, oh, hey, Tina, look, I'm using pink. Catherine's got all sorts of things to tell on me. So I figured I'd just tell you first. I'm also wearing a pink shirt. <laughs> yeah, with different colors, these could totally look like peacock feathers. All right, I think I'm gonna go in here with a tiny bit of blue too, because why not? <laughs> All right, let's get the heat gun out again. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is not turning out anything like I anticipated. <laughs> However, it is still awesome, I think. So I'm just gonna go all the way, pretty much both directions here, to try to approximate at least a little bit more what I was going for. got to decide if I want to leave it, if I'm happy with it, or keep going. <laughs> yes, you can definitely paint over your epic fails. Absolutely. Uh, with resin, yeah, just go ahead and sand it and go right over it. Uh, with acrylic pouring, if you use silicone, clean it very well and then gesso over it and then go right over it. So, yeah, toothpick it. I thought about it. Uh, no, the blue is definitely in there. <laughs> what made it sell? Um, honestly, I think it's the white itself. Uh, the, the base coats from Stone Coat Countertops, I've noticed, do definitely cause a lot of cells. All right, all right. Sorry, guys. I'm just thinking. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, hey, Joyce, and Joyce is hubby. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you tell if you have a difference to use a, a heat gun and a torch? Um, yeah, the heat gun will more heat up the um, resin and make it more fluid. The torch is really more for getting rid of air bubbles. And it really depends on what torch you use, too. 
Uh, some torches are much more powerful, so they can work really well. Others, not so much. So it really depends. I can't decide. Oh my gosh. I can't decide. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of keep goings. Keep goings. Um, I'm just trying to think of like what would make it look a little more like what I was going for, you know? I don't want to go a little too overboard with the blue, but let's see. I do want to fill in a little bit of this white negative space there. <laughs> more, more, more. Okay. Which resin for use in coasters? Is it different for the paintings? Yeah, if I was doing coasters, I would say to use their um, resin that they use for uh, the kitchen countertops. Because that way it really will be, first of all, it'll dry like really hard. And second of all, it'll be all heat resistant and everything. Okay. Now what are we going for? Well, I don't know how to describe the picture in my head. <laughs> But as always, we're going for something awesome. So let's just keep going until, until we're totally happy with it. All right, this may do it. <laughs> I want to buy a torch, any recommendations? I love the torch that I have, which is the burns o um, If you're doing larger projects, it's not the greatest. Uh, but if you do, you know, a normal size project like this, Absolutely. Have you ever used a hairdryer to create a pour painting? Totally. Tons of times. And when I uh, resin my heat gun shut, I use the hairdryer instead until I can fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that blue is going to add a lot. Let's go ahead and heat it again. Uh, heat gun also gets rid of air bubbles, so that's definitely helpful. Okay, don't don't go away, blue. Well, you know. <laughs> I am definitely semi glad that I started this out on the um, <laughs> smaller canvas. So, bye, James. Have a good day at work. I'm cheating, cheating here. You didn't miss it, Bridget. Moses, this is resin. And guys, I have enough resin here to definitely do one more after this, so. There we go. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to leave it at this point. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. And I will, once this is dry, I am going to add the gold leaf on it. So I think that will still make it pretty much what I was going for, more or less. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be moving the camera. If anyone gets dizzy, close your eyes. All right, I do have to say one thing real quick. We have 172 people watching, and we only have 30 thumbs up, guys. 
What's up with that? Give me some love. I need some more thumbs up. Thank you, Joyce. All right, look at these really killer cells. And I love the way that the gold created this like really delicate lacing along the edge there. So that's really cool. Here we've got the blue, stay focused. Yeah, we got tons of cells in this one. But like I was going for, I was definitely going for a more delicate um, look. So I got that delicate look. I'm gonna take you around and show you it from my viewpoint. <laughs> I think I like it better from your guys' side, but we'll see. Once it's all dry and I get that gold leaf out, we'll see. I got this nice rainbowy color in here. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, I think I like your guys' side better. <laughs> All right. It's definitely something a little different for me. I usually go with a little, like, more, I feel like I usually go with more bold. Bold and lots of contrast. So this one's definitely a little more delicate. All right. Holly Ann, I think you could totally do it. Why not? You just need to maybe use casting resin instead of the art resin, just as a tip, if you're doing something a little thicker. And by the way, guys, let me show you. So previously, I was worried about these um, coasters that I had made with the leftover art resin uh, because like I just said it's not supposed to be so thick and these are definitely more than an eighth of an inch thick look how thick that is however after about a week or two I don't know how long it's been uh, the the coasters have totally hardened at first after like a couple days they were still really like bendy <laughs> And I was like, oh no, this is never going to cure. But it did, in fact, cure after um, just a much longer period of time. So I thought that was an interesting experiment. A good geode pour. Yeah, I can do another one. I actually did one a few weeks ago. Here, I'll show you. Uh, it was my first one. Not, not like 1,000% thrilled. I do love it. I just want to do a little more to it, like add a little more detail and contrast. But I still, I still love it. So I will be definitely doing some more and I'm going to do some on uh, a piece of wood. So, <laughs> all right, let's see. How much resin do I have? <laughs> I think I don't think I have enough to do a 14 by 14 canvas. So we're just going to do another little 8 by 10 canvas. And I spray the back with water, which tightens it up. So that is a good little trick to use. All right. Now because I don't want to mess up all of this awesomeness, I'm going to actually use my little uh, tripods here, or at least I'm going to try to. <laughs> Let's see. I may not have a choice. I may have to put it right in the middle there. <laughs> well, I was trying. Come on, come on. There we go, okay. Can everyone see that just fine? Yep, I think that's good. Okay. All right, so here we're gonna start with the white that I have in here. And this one, I don't have any idea in mind. I like kind of seeing what I can create with the leftover paint. 
or the leftover resin. So we'll get that white in there. Let's go ahead and move it around. Cheat. <laughs> Just like with acrylic, it really helps to have a base of wet. Even if it's clear though, it could totally be clear because um, that really helps the resin move around. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> Trying to watch and bake cupcakes at the same time. That would be a feat. All right, we got lots of gold left. Let's go ahead and have fun with the gold here. See if we can create some really cool lacing in here. And of course we got lots of blue left too. Unicorn cupcakes, that's the best. All right, <laughs> that's funny. Is this just resin and mica powder? Uh, these colors, all of the colors are just resin and mica powder. The white is resin with the uh, Stone Coat Countertops base tint. So unfortunately I used up like all of my little pink there. Let's see if I can make a little more. Use the last drops of resin. You guys should see me after I turn the cam after I turn the uh, cameras off. I work so hard to get all the last last drops of resin out of my cups and make something with it, even if it's just like a really cool um, resin skin or something. But sometimes I'll sit here for a good like twenty minutes trying to get every single drop out. Does anyone else do that, or is it just me? <laughs> Hey Libby, you're here. Zoom in a little closer, I think I can do that. One second. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle, but I do, I do want those necklaces. And everyone, um, I think I posted a video, one of my last fan mail videos. Please do go and check out Michelle's Etsy store. It is amazing. I ordered two necklaces from her. She does some really great work. Sorry, I can't post the link right this second. I can after the video is done. I can put the link in the description. <laughs> yeah, we could use a cupcake video. All right, everyone, I am going to zoom in. For whatever reason, zooming in while live is very touchy. So please, please... Close your eyes if you get dizzy easily. I cannot guarantee this won't go cray cray. Hold on. Oh wow, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. Totally got resin on my phone, but it was worth it. Okay. Good, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and see what we've got. <laughs> Wee! A little field trip for you guys. Watching those cells form. It gets me every time. Every time. Alright, so I have too little red in there, I feel like. It's bugging me a little bit. Just a little. So I'm going to throw just a tad bit more red in there. 
We'll kind of make it like a red vein that kind of goes through there. I think that will fix it. Maybe, maybe, maybe we throw a little bit in over here. Some happy red. <laughs> maybe this red, this red lives over here in this corner. <laughs> Someone name the reference, please. I hope you guys get that. All right. Yep, Bob Ross. This red, he lives over here. This is fun. May have gone a little overboard over that, but I love watching it. Look at that. That's so fun. I was like, ooh, cells. <laughs> All right, well, this one's exciting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Deus has said it before, but you don't remember. You goof. <laughs> All right, yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna leave this. This is this is good. We're we're there. This is what I call. Uh, I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna leave it as I touch it. Sorry, there was just a little hole I had to fill in, but I really am gonna leave it. All right, let's go ahead and do a close up on this. So today apparently is the day of like light and delicate paintings, the opposite of what I normally do. <laughs> oh my gosh, Windstar, you got to meet him. That is so cool. I'm definitely going to be him for Halloween, I've decided. <laughs> All right, what do you do with the resin skins? That's a great question. The answer is I don't know yet. I haven't really figured it out. I will be doing some mixed media pieces coming up with them. I actually intended to do that this week, but then I got too busy. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be making some mixed media pieces and I'm going to try it in some jewelry. Um, and I forgot the second question already. Oh, the heat gun makes cells. No, the heat gun just heats it up and moves it around and gets rid of air bubbles, but it can help create cells just like the torch can help create cells. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really the paint itself that is going to create the cells uh the heat gun just facilitates that all right i'm going in for the close-up so i'm going to be moving the camera around anyone that maybe gets dizzy close your eyes here we go okay so this is where i just heat gunned it created a really cool pattern in there like i like that <laughs> kind and funny. Yeah, I can imagine. We got really cool cells throughout here. This is just a really fun piece. I love that pearl there. Let's try to go around the whole thing. This reminds me, you know what this is? This is a sunrise, at least in my head. And this reminds me of like a nice sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the art coat, you have at least generally about a 45 minute working time, 45 minutes, at least, you know, maybe an hour or so. You have a lot of working time. All right. I'm going to be putting the phone back. You always get to see my feet. <laughs> I really need a pedicure. There we go. Um, and I will be I will be fixing up the edges, guys. Don't worry for anyone who has like edge edge worries. <laughs> um, yeah, art resin is about the same. Art resin is also forty five minutes to an hour. They're both really good. And I have noticed though with the resins, it's going to depend on what you mix it with. With certain paints that you mix it with, 
it will cure a lot faster um, than others. I haven't noticed any troubles with the mica powders, but definitely with certain paints, uh, like acrylic paints. Sometimes that does cause the uh, resin to cure faster. All right, and as my bugger, always gotta knock something down before the video's over. Uh, <laughs> as my uh, table's not level, I'm gonna move this off and then I'll hit up the edges after. Okay, good. <laughs> Otherwise, by the time we're done talking, it'll be all off the canvas. Cool, guys. All right, so any other last-minute questions? And definitely take the plunge and try resin. It is awesome. And also, uh, the link to buy the resin, um, in addition to a uh, discount code, actually, for you if you want, is in the description of the video. So... Definitely check it out if you've ever thought about trying resin. It is so awesome. One warning, you'll be totally addicted. <laughs> it's very, very addicting. And I'm very excited about these skins. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite skin that I made. I actually had to cut it off of the, the uh, wood with a saw because I shouldn't have left it on there. But look at this awesomeness and I had used the mica powders it's so cool you can see how thick it is I had to cut it off with a with a table saw yeah yeah so I'm very excited once I start to play with these skins it's gonna take me a little bit just because man if you guys were to see the list of projects I have coming up it's so crazy like, it's never ending. <laughs> I have enough projects to last me until my very, very old age. Okay, guys. So, it was nice hanging out with you. I appreciate you joining me. And I will definitely see you guys Monday night. I haven't figured out exactly how yet because I will be in Oregon. Uh, but I'll at least pop in for a little bit and I'll figure out something to do. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all Tuesday night on the Stone Coat Countertops channel. So excited. Right, have a great rest of your Labor Day weekend. Bye, guys.